Canadians are heading to the polls on September 20th, and I'm joined by Pierre Pilon of Elections Canada for the lowdown on what citizens need to know ahead of casting their ballot. Thank you so much for joining us, Pierre. Thank you. Now, I just received this in the mail, as I'm sure most other Canadians did, a guide to the federal election. So now, what would you say are the first things that people need to know about it, especially given the ongoing pandemic? I think the first thing is to make sure that you're registered on the electoral list, you know, and uh, one way to find out is that you probably did receive or you will receive uh, in the next couple of days what we call uh, the voters information card. You have on that card all the information as to where to vote for advance poll, where to vote on the day of the 20th, what time, what's the address of the poll, and so on. So that's basically uh, is probably the most priority uh, to have in order to make sure that you can vote in peace if you want. Tell us about advanced voting, when that begins, and I guess where people can find their advanced polling stations. Absolutely. Well, voting, uh, advanced voting will take place as of this Friday, so from the 10th of September to the next Monday, the, the 13th of September, uh, from nine o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock at night. In order to get the information that's supposed to be on your voter information card, if you don't have it, just go on the website. It's pretty easy on elections with an s.ca. Just click on that and there'll be a white box where you can enter your postal code and then you'll get all the information on where to vote, what time, what's the right address, and even your candidates. So how does it work if somebody wants to vote by mail? Vote by mail is another thing, but it's quite simple as well. You go on the website again, you will be asked to fill out a form, a registration form, asking some very straightforward question to make sure that you're a Canadian citizen, you're allowed to vote and so on. They will ask you to validate with some ID. Uh, and as soon as this is done, uh, they will forward you a voting kit. Uh, composed of a couple of envelopes in which you have your voting certificate as well. You receive that at home, you fill it out, and then either you mail it back on the address shown on the envelope, or if you're too close to the, the limit, uh, you, will, uh, you can drop it at your Elections Canada office in your writing. But you got to make sure to do that, your registration or ask for vote by mail before September the 14th. So that would be before next Tuesday at six o'clock local time. OK, and one thing to make sure is that if you decide to vote by mail, of course, you won't be able to vote in person. Your name will be right off from the, the official list. Thank you for joining us, Pierre. Thank you for inviting me.